It is not easy and even very irritating to learn programming from scratch. Above all, you need to realize that the beginning of anything you want to do in life is actually the most difficult part. And after that, things get easier and easier. I'm of the opinion that a programmer goes through four different phases during his career and I would like to introduce these four phases to you in this video so that you can understand where you are on your journey and why some things may be so difficult for you and why it is partly frustrating. With the prospect of course that things will get better. Hello and welcome to the J Sparrow Start Programming channel. My name is Ben and if you are a Java programmer and want to effectively improve and refactor your code, be sure to check out the video description because there is a link to our official homepage where we offer Captain J Sparrow for free to you. You can use it to scan your source code, find and fix bugs, remove that code and like I said, it's free. You can just download it and use it in Eclipse or Maven. I'm sure it will help you tremendously and you will love it. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because that way you will stay motivated and will have faster success in programming since you will always be confronted with a programming related topic. Let's start with the four phases that the programmer goes through in his career and there we start with the first phase. In the initial phase, you don't understand anything at all. Programming languages are just cryptic text and code really tells you absolutely nothing. It all seems very intimidating and you're still trying to figure out the absolute basics to learn. And with this, you get a certain fundamental understanding of what programming actually is, how to write very simple programs and this phase is really the hardest. In this phase, you don't understand anything yet, you also have no idea what you have to learn and this is the phase in which most people really give up. If you are currently in this phase, then do not give up under any circumstances. You now have the choice of either fighting your way through this entry hurdle or you just don't learn programming. Then you will jump to the next hobby that you want to learn and probably give up again in the entry phase. You have to grit your teeth, fight your way through this phase and you will see that it is worth it and you will quickly get to the next point, namely phase number two, the warm up. In this phase you slowly warm up with programming and I remember this phase very fondly because there I really managed to program my first really bad programs but I was already able to use the programming language to build my first own things and I noticed that I was slowly but surely getting better. So I got better and I started to understand what the whole topic is all about. In my opinion this phase can be reached as early as one month after dealing with the topic and that is the point that is very very important for the transition to the the next phase in which you really have the clicking or aha moment. Phase number three, the clicking moment. In this phase you suddenly understand that you can do pretty much anything with a programming language and there are absolutely no limits. It is the first time you really realize what a creative hobby programming is. I consciously call the whole thing the clicking or aha moment because it really happened to me that I flipped the switch in my brain from one second to the next. And at that point, I didn't even know exactly how it happened and what triggered it. It just happened by accident and from that moment on I was able to accomplish pretty much anything I set my mind to if I just put my mind to it long enough. I'm convinced that the clicking moment comes when you're at the point where you're already warming up and then just actively programming things for long enough. I would say that after 3 to 6 months, depending on how much time you invest in coding, you can get into this phase. At some point the moment will come when the switch flips in your head and this moment gives you an incredible amount of freedom in programming and it also ensures that it is even more fun because you really recognize the potential in this phase. After the clicking or aha moment, you don't have another phase for many years. After you flip the switch in your head, you're simply a programmer. You are able to do what you set your mind to and if you stick with it long enough you will get to phase number four become a master in programming in this phase you realize that you have to keep learning and you're constantly expanding your arsenal of knowledge and tools you suddenly think about programming in a completely different way, you see potential solutions much quicker, you think about problems much more deeply and this phase is really the one in which you have absolutely no limits at all because you are simply very close to becoming a master programmer. Of course to reach this phase you really need many years of programming experience and thousands of hours of coding. There is the 10,000 hour rule which says that if you have invested 10,000 hours in a topic you are among the absolute world leaders in that field. 
people like Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg or Linus Torvalds can be put in this category and yes, they all even got rich and famous with it. So if you stick around long enough, you will definitely end up at this point too, but don't think too much about this phase just yet as a beginner. You should focus on warming up to program first and then eventually having that clicking moment because from there you're already able to program most things. And if you're already in the warm up phase and have chosen Java as your language then I highly recommend that you definitely check out Captain Jay Sparrow. Jay Sparrow is your Java refactoring partner and can help you remove dead code, fix bugs in your program or simply learn Java best practices while you code. There is a reason why thousands of developers around the world are already using Jay Sparrow and the best part is that you can use JSparrow completely free by simply downloading it. If that sounds interesting to you, then check the link in the video description. In that sense, that's it with this video. I hope these four phases have helped you to get an orientation and if so, boop the like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any more videos and stay on the ball. Finally, I wish you a wonderful day and have fun programming. Until the next video and goodbye.